Hi, this is Michael Worry from Nuvation Energy, and I'm going to do a walkthrough of Nuvation's operator interface. So this is a live link into one of our energy storage systems. Um, so you can see we're measuring the overall stack voltage, the overall stack current. The stack current is negative, meaning that the system is currently charging. Um, we're up to 95% state of charge, and then the reverse of that is showing our depth of discharge. Um, this graph here shows our cell voltages. So the three little triangles are your min, max, and average uh, cell voltages. It gives you the individual indexing below here. And then this temperature gauge shows the min, max, and average temperature. And same thing down here, you get the indexing of it. On this dashboard view, you can see uh, if there's any balancing cells. And so you can see it's uh, towards the top end of charge. And so it's uh, balancing some of the cells. Um, the charge limit is reducing because it's getting towards the top. And then the discharge limit is reported separately. Um, I can show you some of the detailed views. So in the detail screen, we can see the addressing. Uh, so you can go in and uh, modify the IP address of how you talk uh, to the Nuvation uh, stack controller. Um, the battery view will show you a bit more detail around your stack voltages and stack current. And it's got a little bit of uh, visuals uh, built into the tool uh, that'll show you the, uh, uh, the system operating. Um, current limit uh, shows you how many uh, cells are currently balancing and, uh, and what your current limit is over time. Um, the safety tab opens up detail on all the various warnings and faults that are in the system. And so there's quite a long list of uh, faults and warnings that the system tracks. Everything is currently uh, clear. Uh, no active faults at the moment. Um, we can go and look at individual cell voltages. And so this isn't uh, that large of a system. This is one of our trade show demo units uh, that we bring to trade shows. So this is a 36 cell LFP system. Um, if there was any open wires detected, it would highlight it in this screen. This shows our uh, thermistor temperatures. And uh, so this picks off all the temperature readings of the thermistors in the system. Uh, we also have the ability to do open wire detection. Um, so it's currently operating system, so I'm not gonna acquire it at the moment. And then we can also show uh, per cell resistance measurements. So those are all the different uh, details that are available. Um, I can also go over here and uh, I can go to the service tab. And uh, this is where one can um, uh, put the system into lockout and then do firmware upgrades of the system. Um, you can also uh, do export and imports of the configuration of the BMS. Um, the BMS has over 1,500 configurable registers. And so uh, you can modify it through the GUI, which I'll also show you. Uh, most customers work with uh, files in order to manage the configuration of the BMS. Um, to that, I'll show you the uh, register interface. So this shows you uh, all of the registers that are in the BMS. And this is the groupings um, on the left-hand side here. Um, so to give like an example of that, I can do a search for state of charge and I can go in here and change my state of charge parameters. So these are all the different state of charge parameters. So say I wanted to change what my V empty uh, register was. So right now in this system, uh, we've got the empty set to be three volts. Um, if I wanted to adjust that higher or lower, I could actually type it right here into this interface um, and it would allow me to modify that. Currently the right button is grayed out um, because you have to unlock the system. So that's this uh, button here of unlock and that will prompt you for a password uh, in order to be able to modify registers in the system. So that gives you an overview of uh, Nuvation's operator interface. I hope that's been helpful for you. Thank you.